uh, before you begin watching this video i want you to know that you may want to raise your legs above ground and maybe place them somewhere on your seat because what you're about to see may make you wanna go like what the heck joe what are you doing can never be me can never be me morning beautiful people welcome to our youtube channel john joy this is joe i'm in mombasa and i'm here by myself joe is not here with me because uh, i came here to work and um today is my off day and i decided you know what i'm gonna tour mombasa just before i go back to nairobi i have like two more days here and i just woke up and uh I'm, I'm staying in this amazing amazing place let me show you guys um this amazing place this is where i am staying very nice once i go out as i'm going where i'm going i'm gonna show you the compound but that's how it looks like and you can see very nice houses so since today is my off day like i've mentioned um i want to do a couple of things but i just woke up and it's raining <laughs> But uh, no worries. The job for Mombasa in Nyasha they can be later to you Vishapo, and then we shall go do our thing. So today I plan to visit two places. One place is the Mamba, Mamba. I think it's called the Mamba Village or something. It's where the crocodiles are. And then uh, if time permits, I'm gonna go to the Fort Jesus. All right. So I'm just gonna wait the rain out and then. Once it's time to go, <laughs> we go. I'm a VIP, guys. Eh? So the rain has gone. The sun is out. Such a beautiful morning to take a walk. Um, from where I stay to the first venue, the Mamba Village or something. I'm going to confirm the name once I get there. It's a walking distance, about 10-15 minutes. So I'm going sunscreen. The one joy, my beautiful wife. <laughs> Very considerate. I'm going here. This is actually the first time I'm using sunscreen. Because the rest of the time I keep on forgetting. So, yeah, you may figure time, let's go and uh, see how the place is. I've got a bottle of water, one liter, uh, to avoid dehydration, but Ikeisha, I'm going to purchase a new one. So, come with me, guys, let's see and explore a bit of Mombasa. Right. Right, so this is where, guys, we have been staying. Such a nice place, just all villas. It's called star villa and there's a pool there both for kids and uh, grown-ups and this is where i've been staying it's a four bedroom villa as you can see very nice very nice place you can chill there i think these places are for rent and also for lease vacation and everything yeah most guys here have families but ours is uh, fully furnished Right, so that's how the houses look like. So it's a short distance, like I mentioned. 10 15 minutes to the first venue. Place from outside. Very nice, very nice. Guys, there are different ways you, you can get around in Mombasa. Um, I normally use motorcycle and uh, tuk tuk mostly. You can get Uber as well if you want, or a taxi. Yeah, but I prefer the two but today i've decided to walk just to get my workout in and also that place is not that far off i mean nyali <laughs> nyali is one of the richest places i think in mombasa there's a shorter route i can use to get to where i'm going however i've decided to walk just to show you guys how beautiful nyali is So guys, I'm here, as you can see, it's a very nice place for kiddies to play. The place I'm talking about, as you can see, there's that big uh, crocodile. It's called the Big Daddy. <laughs> it's humongous. I'm gonna go in now. As you can see, very nice. Yeah, I was right, it's called the Mamba Village Center. Yeah. Guys, like I said, it's a very nice place <laughs> to come and chill with your kids 
ndio kufika <laughs> i'm so sweaty yeah i'm so sweaty you can i don't i don't think you can see on the camera but i am super 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 sweaty so i've been informed that uh, it's 350 for an adult i didn't ask for a kid but uh, i'm guessing it's cheaper than that of course yeah so let me just go in my target today is to see some crocs and uh, some snakes so i'm just gonna use a shortcut here <laughs> Right, but it's a very nice place, guys. It's a very nice place. If Gianna was here with me, I'm going to go to the kids. And then there is a place you can sit. I think there's a bar and a restaurant. You can just chill and eat. You only pay money if you are going to see the crocs. That's what I'm told. So let's see. Let's go and see. I am at the entrance. And you can see those are the Mamba Village ticket for the non citizen and the citizen 350. For a child it's 200 and nursery school yeah you can see guys here i told you model of transport is tuk tuk <laughs> right let's go see some crocos hey how about you boy yes and take a ticket moja one adult 350 take a moja I mean, guys, I'm in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's where we'll be going through <laughs> oh, yeah. into the farm. I'm in, guys, and I'm a bit sweaty because <laughs> of the walking. <laughs> ah, I hope the crocs and the snakes won't notice. Mm, that I'm sweating, but uh, anyway, let's see. I think I'm the only visitor today. <laughs> it's so early, it's so super early, which is good for me. Okay, yeah. so, eh, Maria Konze, eh, Maria Konze. So, what we deal with generally, uh -huh. the reptiles, uh, we have crocodiles, uh -huh. I love to end up with snakes, uh -huh. I love to medicine up aquarium. Oh, aquarium. Uh, Samaki. Okay. Salty like him. Okay, so any crocodiles, crocodiles reptiles, snakes. snakes. I love to use to balize in aquarium. Yeah, uh, aquarium. Cause samaki sasa. Yeah. Alright, mimi apo kwa snakes ndio nataka sana. Kwa snake. Sasa iko kuna python tutatoa kibebe. Eh ndio hiyo nataka. Hiyo ndio. Sasa. I'm here for the snakes. <laughs> Okay. Alafu uh pia -huh. kuna hiyo crocodile ndogo the hatchling. Aha. Pia unaweza beba. Okay. Uko pia mbele kwa farm. Okay. Sasa hapa ndio crocs zinakuwa. Oh, okay, can... cement, bamboo cement, they used to mine limestone up and down. Okay. And after later on, on Israelite, by the name Smith Banga. Uh-huh. Aga kuja, katengeneza hizi ponds. Uh-huh. Nafundo wakanza kuleta crocodiles kutoka River Tano. Oh. That is in Tana River County. Ah, uh ah, -huh. ah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. So. Pond, uh -huh. there are 15 years old and are three of them. Apa? One, is over there. Oh, and the same size, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Because your size. Uh-huh. And this, the other one. Uh-huh. They are nature. Cold blood, it's temperatures you could determine in the environment. <laughs> in a tokezea. In a tokezea, <laughs> you could bask when temperatures you could change. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's nice. So the first stop was to see the crocodiles, which I was told there were over 150 in the park, including the hatchling. So uh, what they do is they put them depending on the age. From the youngest to the oldest. The oldest after Big Daddy passed away was about 75 years. Uh, and 111. 111. So, so guys, Big Daddy is a crocodile we saw at the gate. It's <laughs> new, yes, <laughs> Mamba Mkubu. So, there is Big Daddy preserved in the park. I wanted to get close and have a closer look at him. However, I couldn't go past this place because it was so smelly. They have not completed the embalming process, so he still stinks. But I hope you can enjoy from this far. I also got a chance to hold one of the hatchlings. 
Uh, this one was about six months old. This is where they keep them until they are adults. Some of the crocodiles are divided and kept here. These are the ones that are sold for meat if you want to eat a crocodile. So all you have to do is make an order and then they're going to slaughter one for you. As we conclude everything about the crocodiles, I cannot leave without showing you how they are made. Luckily, we were able to spot this male crocodile and beneath it was a female. It is their mating season and they were in the process of mating to lay eggs to hatch. We are going towards the snakes <laughs> to see the snakes. Uh, so it's uh, the garden. Eh? This is the garden. It's on a different plants. Uh, they have a special garden with different plants distributed randomly. What excited me the most is this plant which is a deterrent to the snakes. Uh, I hear that if you keep one of these in your house or in your garden, you'll never have snakes because it chases snakes away. How interesting. Uh, the snakes are caged because they are highly poisonous and uh, the puffer was the hardest to see because the glass is hum somehow a duck. very aggressive and Chassis mama. <laughs> so this is the African rock python. Uh -huh. It's five years old. Uh -huh. to weave. Oh, five years. Five. An African rock python is a constrictor. It is capable of swallowing a crocodile or even a dog. He was a bit heavy and cold, of course, being a reptile. And it was super exciting holding him and uh, having to spend a bit of time with him. I was super, super, super excited and to have I checked this off my bucket list. That was fun guys. Make sure you come to Mamba Village Center. Very nice. Not after <laughs> Seth Bere. Seth Bere. I have to find a guide. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I think I'm done. So, Jenny, you're a crocodile. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So, I'm going to go. So, I'm going to And then, before you end up for Jesus, you end up for Jesus after you. Uh, before you leave, this is a gift shop. So, where's it? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to you must think of your wife. So, you are Nisharia. I've ended up buying this bag for joy. It's holding my water. But I'm happy. I'm super happy to have done this. Next is to go to um, Fort Jesus yeah, and see the good things there. You see, if you want to enjoy life sometimes, you gotta do things alone. Because I'm not sure. If I was here with my wife Joy, I would not have touched that snake. Hang your kubai. Ha ha! Never, never, never. But I'm happy I'm doing this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you cook on Nairobi. And uh, at least I've gotten her a gift so that she can feel as part of my trip here in Mombasa. Enjoyment. Alright, so, so. Yes. See you next, guys. Uko. For Jesus. I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> I think that you go picky picky. One. Because to beat traffic in Mombasa, the traffic here is crazy. Uh, number two, the end can police can pepeta so that they can cool down, like our uh, friends that we call the reptilians. Right, so, so I hope you have enjoyed this video until this far. Let's get to the next part. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy even more. I ended up taking a tip to, to Fort Jesus, guys, when you get there. Make sure you get a guide so that you can have a full experience. Without one, you may not understand everything. Come on, you want to eat for Jesus? Huh? Sabayini 2.5 way carry. 
Huh? I'm about 80 percentage for Jesus is a cornerstone carving, for Jesus is like a human being. Uh-huh. Yanu kiwa kwenye ndege na kashepo binadamu. Uh-huh. Right arm, left arm, head, chest, stomach, and legs. Hii yote na ikarimbini na nusu. Uh-huh. Nona, uh-huh. Eh, lakini badai wakatole wana Oman Arabs ambao ni kina Sultan Said Saidi. Uh-huh. Mwenye likuwa Kirul Mombasa ila nitulikuwa uh-huh. na watching tower. Captain House. Eh? Uh-huh. Kwa watching tower kuna kwa na Portuguese okay. soldiers, akiona uh-huh. melea madu. Ama restore eh? Baterini Amaris. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so upon the icon, So here we have a cannon, we have a kitchen that can powder inside and we have a bullet that can be 10 kg. I was very lucky to get a very knowledgeable uh, tour guide who showed me around rich in history. I just wish I could show you guys everything that he said and the entire tour of the Fort Jesus. However, for me to do this, it will mean I'll have to make a very, very long video. All I can just say is find time, go to Mombasa, and make sure you go to Fort Jesus so that you can be enriched with the knowledge these people have. I was super, super surprised that there's a lot, a lot about Kenya that we don't know, especially Mombasa. Mm. After finishing the Fort Jesus tour, we decided to go to the Mombasa Old Town where everything started. We saw the first, very first hospital. This is the very first hospital. We toured the very first church, the White House, the very first post office, the very first courts where the white people used to live, Sultan, all those people. And that's why, guys, I'm telling you, I repeat, that it will be difficult to do a, a comprehensive video of everything in Mombasa. However, when I go back there, I'll just try and visit the place again and make a completely different video. While we were waiting and looking around, we saw this ship docking <laughs> made of wood. This is the very first time I've seen such a big ship made of wood, and it's fascinating it fascinated me and i decided to just wait for it to dock so that i could see how everything goes apparently it's from india bringing in spices from there how interesting the very first trade that was started here in mombasa still been done today the trade of spices So guys, I'm back into my room. I am so freaking tired. Man, <laughs> I've been all over the place and I feel like I've been into a history class learning almost six, six, eight hundred years worth of history. Uh, I've learned so much about Mombasa and about Kenya. 
um, about colonialism, all those people who invaded, even the people who were there before the British colony was here. Man, I feel like I was in a freaking history class. I'm so freaking tired. I think I've said that before. I think I'm gonna take a shower now and uh, rest. I also hope you have enjoyed this video uh, that I've made for you guys. So cheers. Until next time, take care. My bed is waiting for me. There it is. Sasami Machanikoge Nilale. Cheers.